Welcome back. It's November 12th, 2022, and this is second round nine at Monster Mountain in Tallahassee, Alabama. We're winding down the season here with only one more race after this one. There are 12 of us in the C40 Plus class today. We've got four Yamahas, four KTMs, one Beta, one Sherco, one Honda, and one Husqvarna. This is my first race on my new 2023 YZ250FX, and there's my first hole shot on it. Thanks to Tyler Kyle for this video. This is a five mile course today with a mix of wood sand track. Part of the GP track is included in the course and some gnarly sand sections are in the mix as well. The weather is great for the race with high temps in the low 60s. The temps will be falling throughout the day as the cold front's coming through. Hurricane Nicole dropped a lot of dust repellent just two days before this race, so I don't think we'll be seeing any dust, but we may have some mud to deal with. Taking a look at the C40 Plus Class Season points coming into this race, I'm in the lead with 144 points. Five points ahead of Brady, but he's making a charge late in the season and I have to beat him in at least one of the last two races to hold on to the championship. This is where the course goes out on the GP track, or the vintage track I think they call it. We got a good downhill jump here and then a tabletop double after that. I made a mistake in the sand there and there goes Brady. So now I'm in second place. That's all right, I got plenty of time to catch it. Now I'm coming up on a new sand section they put in this year and I've got Brady in sight, so I'm reeling them in a little bit. The camera just doesn't show how deep and powdery this sand is. I'm really surprised as much rain as they got. I thought it'd be more wet. I think that's Nick Cortez on the Kawasaki there. Thank you, sir. Brady's pulling away a little bit there. I gotta pick up the pace. Woo! That's Brandon Murray in the C30 class. Thank you, sir. Brady passing Chase Stallings right there. Chase is in the C30 class. Chase has gotten a lot faster this year. I used to catch up with him in the first couple of turns and it's taking a little longer now. He's ripping it. Sorry for making a reckless behind you, Chase. I needed to keep Brady in sight. Alright, I'm getting closer. I'm reeling them in a little bit. Then I'm making another mistake. Where'd that tree come from? There's my friend Garrett Carter. Thank you, sir. Thank you. That's 
Josh Jackson in the C-30 class. Thank you, sir. to you man we didn't even get to use the code word at the end of the first lap I'm in second place Brady's gotten out of sight but I'm only 14 seconds behind him Jamie Marsh helping to work this race. He cheered me on throughout the whole race. Thank you, Jamie. Ouch. I couldn't make out his helmet number, but that guy may need a new radiator. This reroute here confused me for a second. We went down that hill on the first lap. What the heck? What happened here? That's Nick Webb in the C250 class. Thank you, sir. There's Xander Tomlin in the schoolboy class. Thank you, Xander. Thank you. Jacob Jeter, thank you, sir. Woo! At the end of the second lap, I'm still in second place. Brady and I had the exact same lap time on that lap, 17 minutes, 21 seconds. I'm still 14 seconds behind him. Calvin Elliott in the C55 Plus class. Thank you, Calvin. I can barely see Brady up ahead there. I'm starting to close that gap a little bit. There's so much more to racing than just going fast. One of the things I need to work on is I've got to read the trail better during the race. I missed a lot of hot lines that developed throughout the race. This is just one example. At the end of the third lap, I'm still in second place. I closed the gap to about six seconds. We got another hour to race, so I just need to keep at it and not make any more mistakes. I'm 
got him in sight right here, but I think he's handling this sand a little better than I am. There's Brady. He's facing the wrong way on the trail. I was able to get by him and now I'm in first place. That was Brady. I missed another really good hotline right there. About a mile or so later, I didn't even know Brady had caught back up. His bike is so quiet, but he got by me in the whoops. Into lap four, I'm still in second, three seconds behind Brady. Brady got me a little bit in the sand section again. That's the end of the fifth lap. Light flags out. Brady's got 17 seconds on me. I've got one lap to make it happen. Getting close to the end of the lap and I've got him inside again. I should have stayed on the main line right there. I had to slow down just a tad right there and he got a gap. But I've got a line picked out up ahead to try to make the pass. I've got to be close though. I just want close enough. Thank you. So I couldn't get it done. I finished in second place, two seconds behind Brady. Congrats, Brady. Awesome race, man. Looking at the C40 plus points following this race, I'm at 166 and Brady is just two points behind me at 164. Todd Rushford is closing the gap on Jason Robison as they compete for that third place spot so the final race of the 2022 season is shaping up to be a good one. I used my new Osmo Action 3 camera for this race and it's a real game changer for hair scrambles. I was able to record the entire race in 4K with battery power to spare, no overheating, no auxiliary batteries or wires, and no camera worries whatsoever. If you race hair scrambles and want an outstanding camera and the longest possible runtime, you may want to consider this camera. I'll include a link in the video description. Thank you to the Southeast Cross Country Association and Monster Mountain MX for hosting the race. The final race of the season is coming up on December 3rd, where the C40 Plus Championship will be decided, so stay tuned for those videos. If you're doing Christmas shopping this holiday season on Amazon, it would help me out if you'd use my Amazon link in the video description. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it helps support the channel, so thanks for considering that. If you enjoy these race recap videos, please let me and YouTube know that by hitting the like button. That really helps me out. Thanks for watching. That was tough. Man, I felt pretty good, and, you know, and then yeah. I...
You look back there, it's like, oh man, I'm freaking dying. <laughs> that time you went down and I passed you, I started making dumb mistakes, so I, I couldn't ride. And when you came by me in the whoops, I didn't even know you were there. I didn't think you did. Because I was trying to not, you know, make <laughs> so quiet. Yeah. I was right behind you. He don't know I'm here. But yeah, it was fun. You'll be two points behind me now. So it comes down to yeah, the, last. the last one. Yeah. All right, I'll see you in a couple weeks over there at Alpine.